beautiful day it's going to be today. It is. What time are we on now? Just gone half past five. We're back on our little kingfisher shoot. So we've got unfinished business here. So we're hoping to crack it today. Let's get a let's get on with it. How we doing everyone? Hope you're all well. Right, like as I said this morning, we're back on the Kingfisher Brook. So I have a little uh, it's kind of the culmination to a an ongoing project that I've been on with now. I've had a couple of perches out here and we've had some we've had some nice footage, we've had some lovely close-ups, but I just wanted to try something a bit different really. You know, sometimes they can the perch shots, they can get a little bit the same and that, so I remember as I were a kid, I remember seeing a, I remember seeing a, an image and it stuck in my mind and it were a kingfisher sat on a it was sat on an old fishing sign and it just I don't know, it just resonated with me, it just stuck with me and I thought I thought, you know, I'd love to, to see a, a kingfisher on a sign like that. Just never mind take a picture, we'll just see one. So I thought with with this location, you know, I kept thinking let's just mix it up a bit and uh, what I've ended up doing, I ended up making a sign, it's down there and you know I've, I've had it down there for a few days now just to kind of get them used to it. So what I did, I went out and I wanted, I didn't want to just put some of it out that looked new and, and fresh you know and it, it looked staged so I kind of took my time over it and decided to make one that looked old now whether I've achieved that or not, I don't know, I mean you be the judge of that, but you know I, I went scratching about in woods and uh, I found an oak pallet and I, I, you know, I got all the wood back into the workshop and, and kind of took my time over it and knocked up this sign, so I've had, it, uh, I've had it down in the brook for the last couple of days, you know hopefully to get the kingfishers used to it, you know you'd be lucky to, to just plonk it in and, and they come down and land on it, so I've kind of, you know, left it there. I've had to, what I've had to do, I'll show you in a minute, I've had to put a, a metal stake into the, knock it into the riverbed, because it's surprising, you know, we, we've had quite a bit of rain lately, and even though we're on a, you know, a quiet bend of the river, it still, you know, bombs down here when it gets full, so I didn't want it getting washed away, so what I've had, I've had to secure it in proper, don't get me wrong, if it flooded it'd still take it away, but it just gives it a bit of a chance. Now I've, I've, I've got another little perch out next to it, and I've got this one here, which I'm probably going to leave. It had moss on it, it still has got moss on it, but the thing is with moss, it's, oh, it's, it's, really, it's really hard to keep you know, alive. If, it, if you take it out of its, uh, take the branch out of you know, where the moss was growing, even in just a few days, it'll it'll die off, and uh, it's one of them in it. But uh, no, I think it'll we'll leave it out that because it's been out. That one's been out about probably ten days, so you know they'll be used to going on that. So we'll leave that there. And I've also I've got this. I found this the other day when I was scratching about, and uh, I just thought, how cool is that? You know, it's really, it's, I don't know how that is, but uh, it's just interesting, you know, it's a proper interesting branch and I thought that'd be lovely for a kingfisher perch. So what I've done, I've just screwed a piece of, uh, well, what I did first, I've got that like, piece of slate back and a bit of 2B1, screwed that to this piece of plywood and then I've just screwed the piece of plywood into the base of this perch and then all I'm going to do, well, that's, this is the idea, I've, I've kind of guessed, um, you know, the, the depth, but I knew that it nearly came over me well the other day, and there's uh, there's been a bit more water coming, so we might be pushing it a bit. We might end up with wet feet this morning. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to secure that down into the into the bed of the river. If I have to, I'll just get a get a brick or a rock and sit it on it, and that's just going to sit in the river, you know. But uh, yeah, it'd be lovely if we got one sat on there, wouldn't it? So. Let's get over there now and uh, we'll get set up.
right guys so this is our little spot we've got it's a bit a bit misty this time in the morning but it's going to burn away in the non too distant so we've got we've actually got three perches set up at the moment now normally i probably wouldn't have this many because it gives them a bit too much choice really but the uh, problem is there's a bit too much water in and i'm going to get wet feet so that's not happening i'm just going to leave them there the kingfisher lands on it it's fine in it we'll just give it a bash so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put this one just to the the right of the of the no fishing sign because the water's a bit shallower there so i'm going to stay dry and uh hey we'll see what happens eh but yeah that's all i'm going to do i can actually stand on that platform you know just give it a bit of uh give it a bit of encouragement with my feet and it should be all right actually it's quite a quite a sandy bottom there's a few stones at bottom so we'll get it in looks good that doesn't it you see what I mean though, once that's down below the water surface, a bit of belter in it, you know, that's where I want it, just there, right there. Come on. Should have put my waders on. Right, I think we're just going to put it in there. Another thing as well, once you've got it set up, just go back, get your big camera set up. The right position that you're going to be in, the right height. Get sat on your chair and have a look through your through your lens. Make sure you've got the background right. What I'd like ideally with this one, I want the water in the background. I want to try and keep keep away from the vegetation. I want to try and get a nice, clean, blown out background just to highlight them colours in the kingfisher. You might just have to go a little bit lower that, but it's a nice it's a nice height for fishing. I'm just hoping that. Maybe this extra movement in the water isn't going to put them off, but there's still a good chance they're going to just land on it just to investigate. So we'll go with that. We'll give it a try now with big camera, make sure we've got the background right. Right, let's get set up. I've not got the big hide with me today. I'm on my Todd, so we've got the little night hawk chair hide. Perfect. I've done a little bit of a hack on it as well. As I was saying in one of the films, I like to have that big panoramic window open, but there was just a bit too much. You could you could see yourself too much. So what I've done, still a bit wet this. Uh, I've put some little little hooks around the top. I'll show you when I get in it. And what we can do, we just hang some scrim off it. In fact. I'll show you now, for anyone that's got one, you see them, them little, they're just like a little dressmaker's hook and eye, well, that's just the hook part, and all I've done, I've just stitched it onto that, there's like a rib around there, there's just five of them, one in the middle, two either side, and then it just lets you hang a nice piece of scrim, and you can, obviously you've still got that visibility, you can still see what's knocking about, but just hide you a bit more as well. So get yourself level. Another thing when you're setting a setting a little chair ride up like this or any hide in particular, get it right first time before you start shooting. Because there's nothing worse than if you're in the middle of a, a session, you think ah it's not quite right and then you know you, you're starting to disturb your subjects. So it's just worth taking the, the extra few minutes like that then, you know, because it's a sandy bank in this, it's on level, so I want my chair nice and level. Bang on that. I think we'll be all right there.
that's another thing as well. I've managed to, uh, I'm having a bit of trouble with sound quality on the films. So I've gone for a new new mic setup. It's, uh, it's on here, Rody. Rody uh, Wireless Go, it's called. So everything's, everything's wireless. Works up to about 70 metres away, I reckon. Well, that's what they, they reckon, so... But yeah, drop us a comment in the in the uh, at the end of the film comment box and uh, just to let us know what you think of the sound quality because it's supposed to be you know it's supposed to be an improvement so there's no worse than watching a film and the, the sounds a bit naff so yeah if it's just let us know if it's if it's any better and uh, yeah right so what I've done <clears throat> that's the old microphone that I had so I've just Bob that on the SLR, you know, because I do a lot of uh, a lot of my film footage, you know, the close-up stuff of the subjects. It's all done on this on the D500, so it's nice if you can get a bit of bit of audio with it. <coughs> Excuse me, as well. So yeah, we'll we'll give that a try today. Right. So like I said, you know, get <coughs> get set up. Where are you gonna be? Nice and comfy, and then just just try it out. Could just do to be a little bit lower that that new branch, but I don't know. I think I don't want to bring it too close. You see, we'll try it like that. No, I think it'll be all right. Well, the trick is with this hide. What I've found, you want to get everything in it. You've got to do it prior to bringing it over the top. Get yourself ready. Get that tucked in in there, and then in there and zip the bottom bit up. <laughs> Don't forget to open that zip as well before you bring the hide over. It's important that that bottom zip's open. Right. A little bit high is that. Like I said, get everything right before you start. Get yourself happy and comfortable make the job more easy more easy that's bad England isn't it right let me show you that, uh, that little bit of a modification that we did you can see there how how big this this opening is and it makes me you know quite obvious really so I've got the uh, the old scrim scarves Need to get some of them if you haven't got any. You can do all sorts with these. Three of them, that's that's more than enough really. Right. So there's our little hooks. One on there. Same on this side. And I can still the beauty of this stuff, you can still see through it. And then just you know drape it around the around your camera lens. Look at that. That's better in it. And we're ready to go. Come on, Mr. Kingfisher. Another bit of a tip for you. Once you're all set up, like I am, make sure you've emptied your bladder before you're all set up like this. Because I'm going to have to unset up now. Might listen to me on advice one day.
attack from all angles. We're getting the kingfisher pictures like this, are we? Frisian in the hide. It was fun, wasn't it? There he is. He's right, right on that sign now. Lead back to me. Come on, turn around, turn around. Yes. Got it. That is a proper result. That is a proper result. Flipping it, all the hard work's paid off. Can't wait to have a look at them on the computer. I hope they're sharp. I just hope they're sharp. It was literally, it was only on it for 20 seconds, something like that. But uh, he didn't land on the other one. Only on the sign, which is the one I was really bothered about. I'm made up about that. Fantastic. Make it happen. So there you go. We've uh, we've achieved what we wanted. I'm well well suited with that. It was brilliant. We got interrupted by a big cow at, at one point, but uh, hey, he didn't pull it off, did it? So we, we managed to get the kingfisher on the no fishing side, which is, that was, that was the image that I really wanted to recreate. And we've done it. Uh, it didn't go on that new perch, which I'm not right fussed about, but we're gonna take that one out now. I've got another job for that one. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for the kingfishers for a bit, I think. I think we'll, uh, I've got another couple of projects that I wanna get on with, so we'll, uh, We'll keep visiting them and that, you know, keep an eye on uh, on what they're doing, and, you know, what's knocking about. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just met up with that and it's a fantastic location, this, it's really good. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, drop us any comments in the, you know, in the comments box below. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you if you have any questions. And uh, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get any notifications for new films coming out. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon and make it happen. Mm -hmm.